When there is a crisis, when there's an accident, a heart attack, if my child stops breathing and I call 911, I want you know, someone there as fast as humanly possible. According to Bernalillo County Commissioner Maggie Hart Stebbins, it could make the difference between life and death. An agreement that calls for city and county firefighters to erase jurisdictional boundaries to send the closest available firefighters to emergency calls has been talked about for years, but nothing is official. I think there's a little bit of frustration on everybody's part that it hasn't happened yet. The idea is this when a call comes into 911, firefighters from the closest city or county fire station should respond regardless of where that call is coming from. Sometimes it happens. Many times it doesn't. Take, for example, a car crash that happened at this city intersection late last year. Dennis Chavez, an answer. Dennis Chavez, an answer. We have an accident with injuries. Rescue 7 Engine 14, respond to Dennis Chavez, an answer. Motor vehicle accident. A county fire station was just 1.2 miles away from the crash, but instead the call went to a city fire station three and a half miles away. The city's response time was eight minutes, 30 seconds. The difference in travel time between the city and county fire stations, firefighters say, was more than six minutes. On the very same day, less than five minutes after that car crash, another 911 call came from this city street. A one year old child was having trouble breathing. Once again, the call went out to a city fire station that was 3.1 miles away. And once again, a county fire station was closer, just two miles away. The child was okay, but the difference in travel response time, about three and a half minutes. The citizens of Bernalillo County and the city of Albuquerque, they deserve better. The firefighters union says getting the city and county to come to an agreement has been unnecessarily difficult and time consuming. This is an issue that uh, this union has been working on for a decade. We're over a decade now. Well, firefighters aren't the only ones pushing for the two fire agencies to work together. City and county leaders are pushing too. In fact, late last year, the Albuquerque Bernalillo County Government Commission gave the two fire chiefs a deadline of next month to reach an agreement. City Chief James Breen and County Chief John Garcia say establishing a formal agreement is a complex process. This is a very high functioning agreement and this is new ground. It's never been done before at this level. Both sides are saying let's get this done. For now, step one is figuring out how to better handle calls from the agency's separate dispatch centers. Both use different systems. Last month, the chiefs issued this memo to dispatchers to try and start streamlining the dispatch process in the meantime. Why wasn't this done a long time ago, do you know? I, I, I can't answer. Maybe it was uh, um, uh, based on jurisdictions not working closely together. John, do you know why it's taken so long? The same thing, I, I couldn't really tell you. It's always been an issue of what we, we know what needs to happen, but it's always trying to get everybody on the same on the same page. The chiefs insist a formal agreement will be in place soon. They estimate as early as April. This actually was brought to my attention. Maggie Hart Stebbins it says it's time to put public safety first. To most people, it seems like a pretty simple, common sense thing to do. Tim Maestas, KRQE News 13.